Welcome to the ultimate Hawaiian trail run. We're running a 10K today. We've done it in bowling shoes in the past. Hebrews ran in big red boots. But today, we're doing it in... <laughs> we're doing it in banana suits. Check it out. We're doing big yellow boots, baby. This time, they got a little bit of air conditioning built in like a crock. Let's get after it. The ultimate Hawaiian trail run. Last year, we ran it in bowling shoes. We got thinking, how could we one up that? And we came up with the big yellow boot. The big red boot half marathon got a ton of press. So when the lighter weight, air conditioned yellow boots dropped recently, this is an official cross collab. We thought we'd redirect that attention to the Kiala Foundation by running it back and we wanted to make sure our squad fit in with the whole aesthetic. So we bought banana costume. Why not just roll as a bunch? So. And also the females did not want to wear the banana suits. So I got them something that would fit. And monkey ears and some tails. Yeah, you know? so we were chased down. Yeah, same, same, I guess. The Ultimate Hawaiian Trail Run is a fundraising event for the kids of the Kiala Foundation. All the proceeds go back into that so that they can have an after school program to get them into CrossFit for free. <laughs> awesome charitable contribution that we get to be here and be a part of the community to help the kids and help push this thing forward. And it's also one of the funnest events we get to go to. Yeah, it's a, we love. Yeah, we love coming in for a while. I'm a little scared as a banana. I'm running with a full supermarket in the back. It's all in a Krieger backpack. So you guys, look at these shoes. I put them in sport mode. They're in sport mode right now. All right, bunch of Let me mention that our boy Billy Robs jumped in the morning of. You brought the big reds, and so it was a threesome. Better than bowling shoes? Uh, they're heavy. The traction on these is actually better than the bowling shoes yeah. last year. I do have said. Yeah, yeah. It's Daniel Branham. Oh, How are you doing? I had the crop. Oh, not the double sock. It was instantly a bad idea. It's already rolling up into one sock. I got a strawberry. You good now? Yeah. Pushing the pace, you know? If I'm not moving, no one's moving. <laughs> How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking good. Nimble. You're looking nimble. I feel so good. <laughs> we're getting after it. We're getting after it. We were going pretty good the first mile. Oh, yeah. Sneaker heads are going to be pissed. It's a good bunch. <laughs> All right, bunch up. We ain't ripe yet. Let's banana split. We're pretty good. But granted, I don't have big yellow boots on, so. Just got this sweaty banana suit. Sweaty banana. This is my friend Brad. He's from Oahu. By the last time I ran a mile, which is eighth grade. Or, <laughs> that was eighth grade. Oh man. So we're gonna we're gonna beat it by seven times. Yeah. It's supposed to be a 10k. It's actually eight miles. I don't know how that works out. 12k. How are we doing, sexy monkey baby? Oh, we're making great time. Great time. Yep. Chasing down my bananas. Oh yeah. Mm. I'll let you chase me down any day. <laughs> so I thought I could hike up these socks that were like typical crew socks and then tape the rest of the way. But if you look at this photo here, you'll notice a nice little slit from about here to here. You know, this starts on mile one of about nine. Eight more to go. I have typed this too tight, so I've cut enough circulation in my foot real quick. We got a pit crew going out here, people. What we got up ahead? It's minor, it's like three to five minute run. Uh-huh. To the flat. Good. Only yeah. Any hazards? There's handrails, there's, yeah, you, you guys are gonna be fine. Okay, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Go get it. All right, well. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. So I retaped it up. Jeez, that thing's uh, gnarly. I retaped it up. I had a pit stop and then I discovered that the top of my sock had come undone. You already were complaining about a blister. Hot spot on the hill. Hot spot on the hill. And I was like, I don't know how much I'm gonna really be able to fix this. I'm gonna, and I only had so much tape to hold up my socks. I'm like, once I do that and we sweep it all out, what am I looking at, like a 6% improvement? I don't know. Oh. I just dealt with it. All right, here's the update. My heels, taking the brute of it all. I feel like I've got blisters forming. Just waiting to get to the next aid station, maybe get some band-aids on these bad boys. And every step I took made a little squishy, like rubbery. Squeaky, squeaky. It was making so much noise and I'd run past people and they're like, oh my gosh, that sounds painful. Listen to the rip. See the rhyme. How's the feet for you? Well, we got some new blisters. Shins are now just numb, but we got ourselves a little hydro and salt here, so. Good job. I'm, 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 
I basically climbed Mount Everest in these things. I'm afraid if I pick up the pace, it could be cataclysmic, but we'll find out. Use that in a sentence twice. We are Great. four miles in officially. Yeah. Like 11 over here. Yeah, you guys look like a couple of bloodhound gang over here. Oh, yes, please. What's up, boys? We're out in the woods. Are we holding up? We taped my ankle. Yeah? You have my socks. He has my backup socks. So we got makeshift socks that are not holding up. What, you gave away your best socks to us? Yes. I had enough socks for two of us. I know, this guy is so nice. He gave me his best socks. What a guy. You know, had a second pair for himself. He gave them to Billy because, you know, he's this type I, of guy he is. We got a bleeder. Got a bleeder. The big reds have a harder shell on the top of the boot. And so it was gonna be more important for Billy to have the big comfortable socks than myself because the yellows are a little bit softer there. That doesn't mean that they're soft. They're just softer than the rest. My tape has rolled off. My tape job has fallen apart. Ooh. So we're gonna readjust. Okay. See if he. And shoot in the back. Shoot in the back. Okay. On top of all the water bottles. There is a ruck <laughs> division. You might as well bend in it. <laughs> the pack probably weighed about 20 pounds. Yeah. Or, like I had a full thing of. There's hydro. water stations on the course. I, had a whole, I didn't realize it was full, but I had filled up a whole thing of electrolytes and salt from, H, uh, from HWPO and podium. Shout out. Full water. I got hydro and salt in here. All right. Two yeah. scoops. Are you hot yet? And then I had like bagels and candy and snacks and wheat. We're not things going camping. And and juji fruits. I had enough food to make sure we could go for three days. Yeah. <laughs> because not only did I have to worry about what I was consuming, I had to make sure that my kids had food. Because last time, all it took was a little bit of sugar, and then they were good to go for the next kilometer or two miles, whatever the distance was. Give a high five to everyone. Yeah, I was running the whole time. Yeah. Whole time. Starting to get some blisters on the back of the heels now. You shins blistered, calves blistered. Well, this might be a good time to jump over and show us uh, the golf fundraiser. Yeah, let's go let's check out how we uh, well, how we hit the pins. How we, bowling. How we lost bowling. some balls. Yeah, let's go check it out. Third annual golf tournament for the Gallup Foundation. Well, you know, you got Mjolnir in the bag, you don't leave Thor's hammer behind. The title is TSI 3. Oh, the TSI 3. Yeah, you know about that one? Yeah, I was using the SD2, so I'm glad. Oh, the TSI. yeah, yeah. A little upgrade, you know? You have to ask. You can't but, afford it. Nice fit, yeah, by the way. Like golf. Yeah, and, and I figured we were going to a fashion show yeah. slash golf tournament. Okay, we're starting off. Shotgun start. We're on hole three, close to the pin. I'm pin seeking. I'm calling a ball in the water. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I did that. <laughs> so it's a scrambled. It's an yep. omelet. It's an omelet. It's an omelet. <laughs> you hit the cart right there. <laughs> I don't golf. <laughs> Let's just start with that. Okay, we started off two in the water. One into the cart and one on the green. Teams of fours, all four of us hit that ball from one spot. You take the best of the four and hit from their ball. I'm not hitting like 18 times a hole like I normally do if I'm golfing. I'm hitting once and then I'm following Bill to Billy's ball and then I'm hitting Yeah, there. we're all hitting Billy's ball. <laughs> yeah, we're all hitting Billy's ball. How many holes in were you like, eh, I'm kind of over. And about hole three, I was like, cool, when do you think we can wrap this up? <laughs> I'm good for about 12. That's a good shot. Hillary Duff. Fuck, I could have just gone 10 feet further. It would have been better than any of Yeah, yeah. Right down the middle! Right down the middle! We are about to tee off on the 11th. I think we're four under through eight. Okay. You hit a clutch putt right now. Tell my future son about that putt. So, so we got to take uh, three drives from each one of us. This might be Heber's <laughs> opportunity. Got this little piston in here. Okay, I'm gonna load, load this charge in. You're loading a charge? I don't know, it goes boom. It's a golf club powered by a gun. Who is this for? Well, me. <laughs> okay. I'm the demo. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> want to swing a club and still play golf. Right down the middle. Yeah, we can. Woo! Let's go. Ball. Right down the middle. 
knock it onto the green, and then I continued on to sink my putt. So not only did you use my drive, you used my putt, yeah. and we birdied. It was a par three. We didn't even need anybody else. I own that hole. And we're done. They were saying that third place was gonna walk away with the prize. We were thinking like, yeah, this feels about like third place. Yeah, it felt good, but not great. Seventh. Oh, the things we do for kids. It's a rough day on the golf course. We were Decent six under and took seventh. Somebody took first with like 14 under. Well, there was a bunch of pros. I don't, pros, know, I don't yeah. know what a golf pro means. Yeah. I think Billy's a pro. Could be. Yeah. He's, he's, he's about to get his card. Yeah. All right, well, we just find out, Billy. The good news, we're almost halfway. Almost halfway. We got this. Yeah. We're almost halfway. Let's go. Man, look at this little guy. I like his speed, man. Yeah. That's it, buddy. You got this. Oh, yeah. Mm. You guys are kind enough to hang out with me and my family. Hey. Doing? I'm doing good, bro. How are yeah. you? Doing? Good. That's the energy we need. We had Maverick. He was jealous of the banana suits. I don't know if you noticed, but he was in all red. Yeah. And then he had painted a bunch of white dots on his shirt because he wanted to be a strawberry. Oh, he painted those? Yeah. Toes hurting. Toes oh. hurting. But I'm fine. And Finley has become obsessed with Lilo and Stitch. Can you call me Stitch? Stitch? Yeah, I'll call you Stitch any day you want. Stitch, how are we feeling? So he was dressed up as Stitch and had painted his Stitch costume personally so that he could look more the character for the run. He's acting like Stitch, who is not a very kind character. No, kind at the starting line, he's like kicking me in the back of the leg. Some <laughs> other guy, they're about to do a prayer, kicking this guy. I'm like, what is going on? Stitch is a meanie. A Mav has been setting the pace. Bull Marston over here is keeping the pace. I'm that top dog or that top fruit. <laughs> A top fruit. Top fruit, baby. Oh, I like to refer to myself as a plantain out here. You know, me and Tommy. A plantain? Yeah. You're the plantain variety. The plantain variety. You got it. That's it. Right! One little chocolate on that banana. Before we started, they sent out a rabbit, and everyone was supposed to catch him. And apparently we caught him because he stuck behind us, and he's carrying golf clubs. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, Juan. Dude, I got a full set, 14 clubs, putting in my, my dues with the golf gods. You know? Heck, that's you to love This it. is the kind of stuff I feel like will make sure all my, my one-footers go in, you know? You really are about to lap us, but with golf clubs. Yep. Sick, yeah, cool. Billy's really, got the ultimate rock right now. Oh, you guys went the smart way. We went the long way. We're crushing. We're crushing it. We You're almost to. halfway. Yeah. I'm like, that's what they said two stops ago. Where are we? How long is this going for? How much more distance? Not very much. Yeah, it's a, it's an hour and a half, half mile. Okay. okay. Hoffy always says it's a 10K. I've already clocked seven miles on our yeah. odometer. Yeah. It's never a 10K. It's more like a 12K, which is like eight miles. We only halfways, realistically. Half ways. I don't think so. You got it. We're in the hurt locker room. Right? Well. Looks I'd, like you're in worse place. I'd probably rather do a thousand burpees, I think. Really? There's so much I'd rather do. It's yeah. easy to say in the moment, though. That's true. Huh? I'm trying to try to cool let go. Clear movement, I'm, huh? This is banana on banana crime, oh, bro. Oh man. All right, so it seems like we gotta go up the hills. Oh, and at this point, they said, "Hey, the 5K goes this way. You can go up the 10K to go this way." And Finley goes, "I'm gonna be doing the 10K if anyone wants to come with me." <laughs> <laughs> right. Bunch up! Bunch up! It's a good climb. Bananas. Almost halfway. <laughs> This is where it got real bad for me, though. We're actually climbing now. Oh. Good thing you got those in sport mode, though. Walking flat was one thing, but when you put your your foot at an angle in those boots, I ain't got blisters on my feet, not me. I, I started feeling the blisters popping, my sock becoming moist. Oh. I thought he was picking it for me. He's like, me. No, no. Here you go, my go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You got that rope. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are well, the pain kind of went away because it was kind of meditative to just focus on being safe getting up the mountain. We get to the top of the mountain. Great view. Great view. There's a finish out there. <laughs> what a view! That's cool, man. You alright? What's your name? Oh, Tommy. Chunky. Tommy. Hope you guys enjoy this kind of content because it's really fun to do. If you do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you don't, don't tell anyone. I think it's safe to say at this point we're in dead last. No, there was there was one or two people behind us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got a banana, a banana split. I just got a banana split. I'm sorry, I sat on you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know your name, but I think I just put my butt on your head. 
my legs feel like literally twice the size swollen. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Ah, we're down. Ah. I can feel it in my blood. I have to rewind my oh. hip real quick. Okay. Oh, no. But the funny part was, I, and this is what Bickle said, he's like, we thought that everybody was done, we're getting ready to fill in the mud pits, and we saw six bananas emerge on the trail line. Ah. I said we finished with tips up. And I was like, all right, let's get it, let's, let's chocolate dip these bananas. So they dug deeper into the mud pit, as opposed Hoppies to like filling it, he's digging deeper. He's using the excavator to just create like a soup. Chocolate dip banana! My shoes are just a collection of mud and so oh, it's rocks in my shoes. How hard was it to try and lift Dude, your leg out? Dude, it was a one rep max. And one rep max every, leg lift. Every time your hip flexors are on fire. Oh! Oh! Rocks fill into the boot. And so you're like fighting against rocks, pushing into your foot as you're lifting up out of it. Yeah. It was extremely painful. I'm stuck. Come on! You try to not get it in your eyes. Shout out to Billy for going down face first. I'm just taking a full face full of mud. Ah! Ah! That's wonderful. That was a tough one. It was a tough one. That was the toughest trout run we've done. Banana hammer! Banana hammer! Banana hammer! I have no skin on my heels to prove it. Yeah, the boots added a level of intensity that we haven't experienced. Ah, come on! We did it! We did it! Yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Crank it, soldier boy. Oh. 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 That's what we, uh, you know, that's just a little bit of damage. It was easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> One out of ten, a rucking hiking shoe. Yeah. Wouldn't recommend it. Workout data from the trail run provided by Whoop. Shout out to the Whoops. Shout out to the Whoops. I was a 13.1, and I did this as a hiking rucking strain because we weren't running much. Yeah, I did the same thing, hiking, rucking at a 15.2. I was mostly in a zone two for 30% of it, 34% of it, an hour 30. I was mostly in a zone one, which means that you're at 50 to 60% of your Yeah, heart we, rate. we took our time with it. I spent 77 minutes at 50 or 60% of my max heart rate for a, for a run. I mean, come on. Yeah, I had yeah. 22 minutes in restorative. I'm blaming it on the boots. All right, shout out to the Butler Gang. I strolled through and found one of the I found someone from the Butter Gang with a high strain today. Her name is Courtney Isley. Isley? Isley? No, we'll say Isley. Swimming. She's got three activities. Wonder what those are. And uh, one functional fitness strain. And the average day strain of 16.7. She strains hard. Courtney, sign in my DMs on Instagram and we will hook you up with a new whoop strap. Thank you for being a part of the Butter Gang. If you want to join the Butter Gang and you have a whoop, use code PANCAKES. If you don't want one and want a good deal on one, link in the description. That concludes the whoop in the Butter Gang. We out. All right, what do you say we roll it out on a beautiful Nepali coast excursion? You can't come to Kauai and not go see the Nepali coast. Well, I'm about to get on a jet ski to film Hoppy do a wave. It's a adventure time. I found myself in a hostage, hostage situation. I'm getting sick on this. Are you? Yeah. yeah. No, we go back by the boat. I got sick three times. Uh, yeah, I puked right there. You guys just think about Mary J. Blige or what? Mary J. Baby. Mary J. Blige. Cheers. Hey, did you did you puke? Yeah. How many times did you puke? Just once.
Look at that. jumping off the boat having a great time everybody's having fun i'm in the hole just trying to keep it together like a rookie to hot dog eating contest you know? you look back up and i go <laughs> <laughs> It's like 15 seconds long and you puke twice with a thumbs up in the middle. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh. He saved the glasses though, so I think All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. The Keala Foundation is going to have a link in our description if you want to make a donation there. If you ever want to come out to the Ultimate Hawaiian Trail Run, we'd love to hold, have, hold you? We'd love to hold you. We'd love to hold you. <laughs> <laughs>